Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm fixing the chimney at my cottage. I'm pretty sure some of you are disappointed that I'm not doing an episode on my new shop. That's just because my vacation is over and the work is going slowly. And I really have to repair my cottage's chimney that fell down last winter. But working on the shop during our vacation probably saved our lives. That's according to René. Otherwise, we would have taken our pickup to go to the cottage. And we've noticed that the pickup is broken. By broken, I mean broken in half. Nobody wanted to fix it, and René was not too keen on going on a dirt road with a welded pickup frame. So we made a crazy, unplanned expense. We bought a brand new pickup. This is the odometer after three weeks of use. So now it's its first trip to the cottage. As a bonus feature for this episode, I'll show you a typical week of vacation at the cottage. After a while, we finally arrive at the boat ramp. After all that driving and carrying our stuff to the cottage, the day is over. The next morning, we go back to the truck and fill the boat with all the stuff required to repair the chimney. At the cottage, we need to unload the boat and carry everything closer. Then we can start to work on the chimney. I begin by splitting all the chimney blocks apart. Then we remove all the concrete that we can. After four hours, René is exhausted and I finish the work by myself. Needless to say, that's the only thing we did that day. The first thing we did the next morning was to clean the mess. Then we installed the wall brackets I made 20 years ago when I built the cottage. I screw four inch screws directly into the vertical posts of the structure. Then I cut two small trees to make a sort of scaffold. I remove all the branches and nail both trees to the platform that I previously nailed to the wall brackets. Then I reinforce this with a couple of 2x4s. And it's at that moment that I realized that the brick store gave me the wrong chimney tile size. They should have been 8 inches, not 7. Since we came here especially to fix the chimney, we decided to go and buy some more. Finally, after 450 kilometers, we have the right tiles. We just need to bring them back to the cottage. And yes, after a 7-hour trip, we indulge ourselves with a box of Tim Hortons muffin. We were on vacation after all. The next morning, we can finally start the real work. I begin by mixing the masonry cement. When it's well mixed, I pour some inside the pail and we lift it to the roof. Then we lift the first chimney block. René pushes it from the ladder while I pull it with a rope. Then I cement it in place. Then comes a chimney tile, which I insert on top of the other tile inside the blocks. Then we repeat this all over again. After three blocks were laid down, I add two platforms to the scaffold. We bring a brand new cement batch, and now I have a better angle to film to better show the work. Each block is clean with water before I lay down the coat of cement on top. 
the next block is clean too. Then, both of us lay the block on top of the other. This way, I have less chance of hurting my back. Then I just need to finish the joint between the two blocks. Then we bring another block on the roof and put it on top of the other. And again, I finish the joint. When I have three blocks installed, I gently insert the chimney tile inside and lay it onto the last one. The last block is split in two along with the concrete cap. This is too heavy for René to push up from the ladder. So we use a winch to lift it onto the roof. See, all the winches I bought to raise my shop are still useful. Then after laying down some cement, we put half of the last block in place. Then I try one of my new tiles and realize they are a quarter inch bigger than the originals. So they don't fit inside the concrete hole. So we bring the only tile which didn't break during the fall and put it in place. Then we can put the last chimney piece. To be sure that nothing moves while the cement cures, I tie them together. Then I can finish the last joint. The tile cap had a rough time when the chimney fell down, so I try to fix that. Here it's in place. This gives it a little more character, don't you think? The next day it rained all morning, so I started to edit this episode you're watching right now. But the rain stopped in the afternoon and both the dog and I went for a walk. The plan was to check out the massacre the logging company is making of my forest. I didn't have long to walk, about six minutes, and I saw it. I continued to walk on the road they made to empty the forest, and this was even worse. Thousands of trees were lying on the ground. We don't realize that when we go and buy lumber, the wood was cut in someone else's backyard. Those trees were cut in my backyard. On the last day, I untied the rope and sealed the hole between the tile and the concrete with silicone. Okay, cocking is not one of my main strengths. Finally, my chimney is all fixed and it's time to leave. We just need to reload the boat with the stuff we're bringing back home and go back to the pickup. We pull out the boat from the water. And yes, the water was really cold. Followed by our last dirt road stretch. But after six days, I finally have a fully functional chimney. Okay, it shows that the job wasn't done by a professional bricklayer, but if I have time next year, I'll spread the parch coat on it. Thanks and stick around, because next time I'll be working on my new shop on the woodpecker. Mm -hmm.